So this is our Google Sheet that we're using for our modeling mutations lab. And few people know that um, Google Sheets and Excel spreadsheets do a lot more than just make things look nice. So for example, if I had some data in here, let's say like this, and I wanted to add them all up, sure I could do some simple math and add them up, but the spreadsheet actually is capable of doing uh, this work for us. And we can use a simple formula called sum. So we always start with an equal sign anytime that we are asking the spreadsheet to do some math for us. And the name of this function is sum. So we're gonna start with the word sum and an open parenthesis. So now all I have to do is click and drag across the data that I would like to be included in this sum, close my parenthesis and hit the return key. And it automatically has calculated my total. So if we look up here in the formula bar, <clears throat> we can see the formula that we wrote. We could also edit it here if we made a mistake. Um, and now we have the total number for each of our trials. In this box, we actually want to find the average of these three numbers. And we do not want to include this number because that will obviously not work. So we're going to take uh, in that, this cell, we're going to start again with our equal sign. And the name of this function is average and an open parenthesis. And then I'm going to click and drag across the data, close my parenthesis, hit the return or enter key. And now I have an average of my uh, cells. So this is a really useful tool for allowing us to do math using spreadsheets, especially when we have a lot more data than maybe just three uh, variables that we're working with. And um, something else that I've included in this spreadsheet is you'll notice that right here in the formula bar, each of these cells has an equals and then I have added some data. So when we go to the group data page, I'm gonna have students add in the, um, I'm gonna have students share with all of us their data. And then we're gonna use that same technique to calculate the averages here. And the data from these cells will automatically populate on our original table in these cells, which is kind of great. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.